Yeah. <laughs> Do y'all remember this? Summertime. <laughs> Fresh Prince. Oh my gosh, how old is this? I don't remember the words though. Got to be a little bit. I know that part. <laughs> don't try to fix it. <laughs> oh, I should have Googled the words. It's summertime. Summer, summertime. <laughs> all right. All right. Good morning, all. <laughs> my song oldie but goodie summertime by dj jazzy fresh and fresh prince oh my gosh it was so good back in the day anyway hello and welcome to keisha's life lessons tgim how are you all doing thank god it's monday right <laughs> start strong finish strong that's the whole reason why i like to say tgim <laughs> and me and my big her is back <laughs> All right, guys. Um, first one, I hope that you all had a wonderful week last week um, and hope that you're going to start this this week really strong. Remember, I put some things on my fa Facebook fan page, like ways to help you be energized and start the day right, which is like taking the time to meditate every day so you can count your blessings <laughs> another one is to start with really great music in the morning as i did because it gets your body moving <laughs> and always finding something to smile about because there's definitely too many things in life to smile about regardless of what may be happening in your personal life currently so those are just some few tips but i want to go into keisha's life's lessons hello all it's motivational mondays welcome to you all thanks for joining me <laughs> All right, guys, so what I wanted to discuss this week, you know, I like to reflect back in order to discuss something for this week, and I actually want to reflect back on Saturday, and I'm going to talk about giving time to yourself, paying yourself back, and doing what it is that you really, truly love. Um, on Saturday, it was such a beautiful day here in New York. I was so super excited. Summer is finally here. It's officially not here until like June 21st, but... um is here. <laughs> and um, I know that it's here because when I awake to wind chimes blowing in the wind, birds chirping, and light coming through my window before 6 a.m., yeah, summer is here. And actually, I'm so happy about it. You know, I had that horrid winter experience. And then spring just kind of like, came and gone because of the winter. Um, so I'm really excited to have summer here and to take in all of the greatness of summer. On Saturday, I actually went for a walk and um, as I was perusing through my lovely neighborhood, yes, I do live in an older community. I think I've shared this with you all before. Um, I was just looking around and I saw some of the older people walking and holding hands, which was really cute. Um, I saw this lady, she was sitting on the bench and she was just speaking to everyone that passed by. It was so grand. And I saw a couple of people riding like bikes, like cruisers. That was so cool as well. And so when I was walking back home and the same little old lady was sitting on the bench and uh, she spoke again and being who I am, I had to meet her. So I sat next to her. And I asked her one question. Well, two, actually. The first one was, how are you? And she was like, I'm good. How are you? And then I said, um, if you had one piece of advice to give me for the summer, what would that be? She crossed her legs. She looked up in the sky and pondered for a moment. And then she responded. And she said to me, Bask in every moment that the summer offers. Don't let the time pass you by. And I thought about that. I was like, how profound. So, of course, I had to get her name. Um, her name was Jane. Thanks, Jane. 
Um, if you watch my blog, I told her about it, but I'm sure she don't even know how to work a computer. But anyway, um, so uh, Jane gave me that wonderful piece of advice and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to blog about that. And you know, when I heard that, it made me think of a lot of different things. And one of those things were how many times do we actually take the opportunity to bask in the moments that are presented to us and do those things that we truly love, you know, pay yourself back for all of the hard work that you do throughout the weeks, throughout the days, you know, at your job, with your family, your children, and your husband. How many times do you actually take the moments to bask in it for yourself? And that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So with that conversation, I got really inspired and I created this summer list. You know, I love lists. <laughs> For whatever reason. Um, but so I created this summer list and I thought about things that I just wanted to do for fun. You know, it has no rhyme or reason behind it. Oh, my leg here. Um, it has no rhyme or reason behind it. I'm sorry, the camera's shaking, but um, I had to unfold my leg. Like you really need to know all of that, whatever. Um, but, you know, I wanted to think about different things that I wanted to do this summer. This is my first summer in New York. And, you know, I was so over New York in the winter. I was like, I got to get away from here. This place is crazy. They trying to kill me with the snow over and over and over. It's too cold. And, you know, now coming into summer where the past few days have been like 81 degrees, not as hot as Texas, although I miss Texas sometimes, but it's been like 81 degrees. I've been riding with my sunroof open and my windows down, jamming different music, like old school J-Lo. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, I've been enjoying those days. And so I thought about what can I do to make the best of this year, this, um, this summer season in New York? So I created a summer list. And on my summer list, I have things like buy a bike and ride it. Uh, <laughs> you know, just don't buy one so it can be cute, actually ride the bicycle. Um, I also have things as like, um, you know, I want to be able to go to like some block parties, which I think is really cool. I looked up all of the different things you can do in New York in the summer. And oh my gosh, there is so much freeness happening on. I cannot even stand it. Um, I can take free language courses in Bryant Park, go watch movies in the park, free, see free concerts. Like there's so many great things in the city for the summertime. I'm just already excited. I just can't wait. It's going to be so amazing. So I put those all on my summer list and I challenge you all to create your own summer list. You know, it doesn't have to be things that cost a lot of money. A lot of the best things that you can do in the summertime are free, like hanging out at the lake, chilling and soaking up all the sun you possibly can. It'll make you feel good. You see how brown I am <laughs> with a little red tint? <laughs> That's from the sun. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, I, um, I created my summer list. I want to actually challenge you all to do the same because it's about actually living and enjoying each and every moment. You know, um, and basking in those moments because you never know if you'll ever get the opportunity to do so again. So take that time this week to actually think about those things that you want to do specifically for you. How are you going to pay you back for all of the great things and all of the hard work that you've done over the years, over the weeks, at your job, with your family? You know, what are you going to do specifically for you? Think about that and then take action. It means nothing if we don't take action. I'm just saying. It's just a dream. But you can bring it to reality if you put action behind it. So it's all about how do you pay you back. Make sure that you send me some notes via Facebook fan page or on my website, my blog. It doesn't matter, but I would love to hear what are you going to do for you? What's on your summer list? You know, what are you going to do specifically for you so you could actually enjoy and bask in the moments that the life has to offer us? I hope you guys enjoyed. Very short and sweet. Um, me and my big hair is back. I keep looking at it because it's just not, 
it's not shaped right today. You know, sometimes I have to pull every now and then, but whatever. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed. Have a wonderful Monday, a fabulous week. Remember, start strong, finish strong. Start your day off positive with meditation, great music, you know, and then also finding that thing to smile about because there's always something to smile about. Create your summer list. Make it grand and live in the moments. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you next Monday. It's summer, summer, summertime. <laughs> Bye.